You might have heard about aptitude tests required for a nursing registration in Ireland. And hundreds of people are actually asking me the same question through Facebook, our Facebook group called Connecting Healthcare Professionals, as well as hundreds of private messages are coming to me. Then I thought, it's uh, it's a not uh, it's a topic which has not been touched uh, or by many of the professionals. So I thought to make a video explaining what exactly is a RCSI a overseas aptitude test. So guys, bear with me. In next few minutes, I'll be explaining uh, briefly about uh, what all comprises of the test and how you can achieve best results in it. Okay. So guys, RCSI aptitude test was actually launched in 2015. Previously. Years ago, uh, adaptation and assessment program was in place because of the may, um, humongous demand from uh, overseas nurses from India, Philippines, and other countries. Um, these ad adaptation dates were not possible to get. It was really uh, impossible for dates to be acquired. So RCSI College actually uh, released a program called Aptitude Test, which was validated by NMBI as well as other external bodies. So since 2015, um, the, it became a massive success. Um, the, the beauty about our RCSI aptitude test is it'll save you a hell of a lot of time. So it comprises of two parts. The initial is called a theoretical S or MCQ test or a practical part, which is called as uh, OSCE test. So MCQ stands for multiple choice questions and OSCE stands for objective, Structured um, clinical exam, man, that's a hell lot of hell lot of words. But OSCE stands for Objective Structured Clinical Exam. So, in the theoretical test, you have three hours. In that three hours, you have to answer up to 150 questions. You uh, the pass rate, the pass rate should be 50%. So if you answer 75 questions um, and it came right, and you will succeed, and you then only you can proceed to the next stage. So um, again, uh, as I said, OSCE exam is more there to assess your clinical knowledge and judgment. So they, these are more like a simulated environment where you might ha you have to attend 20 stations. Out of that, you have to pass minimum of 14 stations. So guys, don't get scared. Um, you have a chance, uh, two, two chances on each test. So if you're unsuccessful in the first test uh, on the practical side, or the theoretical side of it, you can sit, you have to reset the whole exam again if it's a theoretical or an MCQ test. If it's an OSCE test, uh, and if you lose one or two stations, you might have to go back and reset those stations. You don't have to do the whole lot, okay? And the beauty about it is, now you, you might be confused what stations are. Stations are like, uh, think about a situation or a scenario based. So um, there are like 20 different stations. They might be on different scenarios. So for example, uh, the, you know, when you go for the uh, practical exam, they might present you uh, with a sheet that's called a descriptor sheet, which explains what the scenario is. It says a 75 year old man who had an angina or, or or a stroke or something and you know there will be some sort of scene and they want there, there will be two assessors in every station they'll be assessing your skills how you are actually managing how you are actually managing that particular scenario as a nurse because this is a controlled simulated environment where there might be either a mannequin or one of the assessors might even kind of take part actively take part in the station so guys um, uh, as I said, uh, since it, it, it was been launched in 2015, we saw and I, I, I seen the den an analytics and now being uh, September 2018, I've noticed more than 80% of people have passed in a single attempt. And more than 91% of people have passed in the second attempt. So guys, if you are, if you have good clinical experience or if you're, you know, um, if you have good knowledge in the, in the nursing side of it, definitely, don't have to worry you can you you, you you will pass so so now once you actually pass these two stations the next thing is uh, RCSI will send a letter to the NMBI stating that you have passed both you have cleared both uh, both exams and you might you have to pay NMBI fees there you go you have your NMBI pin number you you can start working um, as soon as possible once your pin number is uh, is ready so guys this aptitude test cut down the time frame uh, from like 
previously in aptitude adaptation programs were so long it would take up to six to eight weeks for the set for the adaptation and then assessment and then paperwork to follow so by the time it you know by the time you get your pin number it's it you lose two to three months quickly but with the aptitude test because of the demand it's really fast and really swift actually and even for you to get uh, get to uh, get to book an adaptation pro uh, sorry aptitude program you don't have to have an employer handy. So the only thing you need is your NMBI decision letter, your passport, your passport fo photographs and everything. Send it to RCSI, pay the fees. And you know, you need to show that you have paid the fees and everything. And basically they will, uh, they will issue a date and you go, you have to come to Ireland. The test happens in RCSI center in Dublin, Dublin nine. So you just, um, you know, you, if you're seriously thinking about taking this, you have to go to rcsi.ie website. It's clearly written there, or you can go to www.hirehood.com. And in Hirehood, it's very clear. There's a blog post on it, which outlines what are the criteria and everything. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. So, guys, if you like this, uh, like this video, please like, share, and comment, as well as subscribe to our channel. And also, if you think if somebody benefits from it, please share to them as well. So, guys, if you have any queries, please comment below. Take care. Bye.